Hey guys, it's Sarah from Snacks and Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are trying the Legendary Foods Protein Pop-Tart. Um, sorry, Protein Tasty Pastry. This is the brown sugar cinnamon flavor. There's five net carbs and 20 grams of protein in here. I got this from my local Vitamins Plus Drug Emporium store. It was $2.59 for this one Pop-Tart. Toaster pastry, or tasty pastry. I don't know, can I toast this? Remove from wrapper, microwave on low for 10 seconds. Filling and icing may be hot, enjoy with caution. Let's go and do the tasting and then we'll talk about the nutrition. All these like little uppy downies and it's still like All right, it looks like a Puffy toaster pastry. It smells like a cinnamon roll. It smells like cinnamon. And something else. I don't know. What's this made of? Protein blend. Protein erythritol, polydextrose, sunflower oil, water, glycerin, and then flavorings and thickeners and such. So it just it kind of smells like a cinnamon candle. <laughs> But we're gonna, it's got like a soft doughiness. It's like soft. It feels like a protein cookie. I like a protein, you can tell it's made of protein powder. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go heat this up. This is what it looks like heated up. It was only 10 seconds, right? Yeah, on low for 10 seconds. I just put it in for 10. And it is softer. This part feels a little cold. Not a lot of filling. Well, no, when you push it, you like squeeze it, some of it comes out. So this, feel, this side feels warmer. I think as a toaster pastry replacement, it's okay. It's not my thing. I think it tastes like, it tastes a lot like the Tarani brown sugar cinnamon syrup, the sugar-free one. You can definitely tell this is, I mean, I, it's, it's not trying to lie and say like, we're, a pop tart, like they're basically, I mean, it tells you like, it's just something else. I don't know. I think if I would have gotten a fruity flavor, I might've liked it more. It's okay. I'm a little like, I feel like if I was really missing the taste of a pop tart, I could just like do something else. <laughs> and the texture is really soft. I mean, it's like a protein cookie. So like when you smoosh it, you stay smooshed. You can definitely taste the erythritol. I don't know if it's sweetened with anything else. Um, possibly the polydextrose. I'm not really sure if that's just like a special kind of dextrose. <laughs> oh, it also has sucralose in it, but that's less than 2%. So I wonder if that's like what the frosting is sweetened with because that's what this has sucralose. This is acylfame, potassium, and sucralose. I don't know, it's got that like that diet sugar-free aftertaste. So if you're really sensitive to that. So nutrition, one, one toaster pastry is 180 calories, 24 carbs, seven fiber, 12 erythritol. So the they do the math on the front, 24 minus seven minus 12 equals five grams of net carbs for the entire like thing. And I think this would be very filling. It is 20 grams of protein. I already, it's that protein powder texture. That I like is getting to me. I don't know, some people like protein desserts. I don't think I'm one of those people. And then part of me is thinking like, maybe it's the flavor, but it's the brown sugar cinnamon. And the fact that I'm just eating it straight, maybe if I paired it with like a plain coffee, it'd be pretty good. Actually, if we dunk this in coffee, it'd probably be really good. Um, not my thing. I would like to try a fruit flavor just so I could have maybe like a better experience. Cause I don't know if I was really like wanting a sweet treat and my options were like some Little Debbie's or like classic Pop-Tarts and this, and I had the money, I had the $3 to buy this. I'd probably choose this, um, but I would want a flavor that I like more. I don't think I like brown sugar cinnamon as much as I thought it would. 
So I don't blame them for me not being super excited about the flavor because otherwise like the sugar alcohol taste doesn't bother me, but I, I know some folks that are sensitive to that and they're like, no, if I can taste the sugar alcohol or the artificial sweetener, I'm not eating it. So this is not, this product's not for you. If you do like protein snacks and that protein texture doesn't bother you and the sugar alcohol artificial sweetener doesn't bother you, then you would probably really like this stack. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you've tried any of the legendary foods. I'm gonna look up some of their other products and see what, just what's available, because ever since cutting out breads and stuff, I haven't even been looking for those kind of treats anymore. I try to like find my sweets in a different, in a different place. Yeah. Try to find my sweets in a different way. And I'll see you guys next time.